Hello Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. It is Trixie here with Picatrix. I am going to be getting a, a lunar eclipse in Scorpio for May 5th of 2023 going for you. Thank you so much for tuning in, liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel, whether you're new or returning. I'm going to be using the Rider Waite Tarot here today, and I'm going to clarify with the mystical moments, and I will wrap up your reading with an Oracle of the Mermaids and Dolphins. So I do recommend checking out all of your big four. However, if you're not feeling well, seek out a doctor as I am not a licensed physician. And if you're interested in more information on the Lunar Eclipse energies, there are a couple links down below in the description box for you to Molly McCord and Pam Gregory's information on that. So... Something in your life is just kind of being like easily removed at the same time that something is really being highlighted that you need to focus on instead. Um, Scorpio really sometimes can bring in a crisis moment or an unexpected um, accident or turmoil that really highlights where you need more attention, you need more growth, more wealth, more focus. And so let's see here, Cancer. I am picking up on the energy that there's movement forward for you here in the next four to five weeks, okay? Um, yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse on the bottom of the deck. So um, coming out of some cycle that has really been painful and destructive, it's caused you a lot of endings, stress, <laughs> fear, worry. Um, so yeah, oh wow. Okay, so the Nine of Swords, yeah, you're up in your head about this big change, this big shift, but um, your world is literally closing out one section and it's going to start fresh as the fool. Um, there is a messenger here showing up, okay, with the page of wands, the world. You also have strength here and the tower is reversed. So overall, I do see here where you're very aware of the shift and the change in you that needs to happen, but it's more, I feel like this worry is like, am I doing this right? Am I going the right way? Do I, like, it's almost like somebody is validating you um, to get through whatever this cycle is. I mean, you have Ten of Swords here in the tower, both in reverse. Um, so overall, you're very, very, very prone to being able to see the shift and the change that has to happen. And you're avoiding necessarily um, a tower moment because while you are probably at night up in your head, those thoughts are protected by an internal being or somebody that you're having com conversations with that's really allowing you to process the change and the shift that is moving forward. Um, being that here, uh, Taurus, Leo, um, Aquarius, and Scorpion energies are on the world card, you might have a grand trine or a grand square or a grand cross in your chart. And that's something you're going to want to evaluate. Um, you know, Molly McCord even has videos going right now about the Grand Cross that we're going to experience in the next four to five weeks. And this Scorpio lunar eclipse is really creating some situations in your life where if you have zero to two degrees in um, any of the fixed signs, you might really be feeling this. Overall, the message is here. It is divinely timed for you. The tower comes in in a divinely timed moment. And being that you have the strength here, Cancer, paired with it tells me that you know that whatever shows up for you, you have to partake. You have to be a part of it. It's meant for you. This will not come back around. This is something that you instinctively know. You have to find the inner strength to tame something inside of you and deal with it. Accept it. Acknowledge it. Um, this leads to a legacy. The Page of Wands is somebody who got, goes out into the world because where he is at is barren for him and him alone. And he eventually becomes the King of Wands who turns into the Emperor and literally rules um, an entire land of people. He enforces taxes and receives income because of other people's efforts. So you could be getting into a job that involves commission even, I'm hearing. Um, you might have a promotion on the horizon. Um, your socioeconomic status may be changing or the circles that you work in or move in may be changing. Um, you're letting go of something though that has really kept you trapped and stuck in your mind. And just really, really, um, over the next four to five weeks, it's like the, the energy just gets easier. Um, on this card here with the page, it's very barren. There's like desert land and some, you know, here. And then going into the strength card immediately after, you have all this lushness, this beautiful energy where there's even a stream on the card. 
and there's animals. And so I, I see here where things are, seem a little barren, they're going to blossom throughout the next four to five weeks for you here, Cancer. A lot easier, a lot simpler of energy. Let's clarify with the mystical moments and find out what's going on. Justice. are stressing about a conversation that you're going to have. This conversation will balance out. Like things in life will balance. Um, a 9 and an 11 equals a 20. So it's like every person involved in this conversation is, is um, bringing something to the table. There might be a little bit of defense involved here, but overall it's like this is a very prosperous conversation, something that you need to hear and you need to speak and you need to feel your way through. Um, I feel like, Cancer, you may be a little bit attached to some sort of outcome, and I'm hearing all that glitters is not gold. Like, there's almost like this need for you to get your head out of the clouds. Uh, and at the end of this bed, if you research the tarot, we know that there is a person at the end of that bed and they have the 10th sword, but they're not interested in stabbing it in this person's back, okay? Instead, they're using their sword of intellect and wisdom um, and achievements to try and guide the person on the Nine of Swords to avoid death and destruction on the Ten of Swords. And so, um, and I, being that there's a card behind that Ten of Swords, I'm going to continue on my train of thought. Um, you have somebody helping you, enlisting you, or giving you guidance. And every time that you listen to that person, things just kind of go your way. So expand on that. How do you start to live through the similar actions, but in your own life, in your own energy, and take accountability and ownership? You're having a conversation that allows you to stand in your own energy because of the mentor, like the mentor is giving you the resources for you to take the steps yourself. And be, with that page of wands, I'm, I'm seeing you actually take a step forward. You have some really good news coming in here, Cancer. By the Scorpio new moon, I feel like your whole life is going to be different. Yeah, here a font in the world. Your higher self is guiding whatever's changing and shifting. Okay, um, you have some insight and wisdom into the future. Um, you're speaking a truth and a reality, I'm hearing. Um, there's just something here about a mentor in your life that's really going to give you um, a completion, an, an acceptance, a self-evaluation, a, a trust in your own divinity, a trust in the divine that you believe in, be it God or Allah, Muhammad, um, Buddha, it doesn't matter. Whatever you believe in, it works for you. And I feel like somebody's teaching you that, that you can have friendships with people, places, and things that you don't necessarily agree with. Like it, they teach you how to agree to disagree. However, that doesn't mean that you don't still respect them or they don't respect you here with the strength card. Okay, let's see what this page of wands is here, Cancer. Strength, the tower, justice, the hierophant. There is definitely something exiting your life that you've been committed to for like three years. Um, you might even come in contact with somebody from like three years ago that you haven't seen. Um, this is kind of all over the lunar eclipse energies if you're listening to any of the astrologers out there who report on astrological charts that... Uh, you may very well run into like an old flame or an old friend or an old family member that three years ago, like things just kind of were tumultuous and you both like separated, parted ways and you did a lot of growth. There was a lot of growth on both of your paths in the last like three years, maybe five years for some of you. And especially if you feel like you're going through a dark night of the soul and this energy you're going to you're gonna like clear the air with is what I'm hearing. This is somebody you haven't seen in years, if that's on your path. If not, it's like, you have a new opportunity coming in 
that unexpectedly is much more bountiful than in nurturing to your soul than you're anticipating. In the next four to five weeks, it's like, focus on who is showing up for you. You're being handed two wands of manifestation or wands of creation. And the universe is like, what are you going to do with that? You're in alignment. The lovers and the page of wands. You're in alignment. You have somebody or something partnering with you that you feel called and drawn to. This is probably a positive karmic cycle that you're starting as at the same time that a not so pleasant karmic cycle is as exiting your life. The Ten of Cups, yeah, and the Strength card. Now, I haven't touched these cards in a few days, and I shuffled them before I pop on uh, any time that I sit down. And so there is some other signs that have the Ten of Cups going on here, Cancer. And so whatever it is that's causing you to really sit with yourself, you might be meditating more, journaling, listening to music, um, disconnecting, really going with and I know I had a meditation the other day that just completely blew away my mind. I meditated for about an hour and in in at an odd time for me too to meditate. And the answers that came through cancer with this Scorpio lunar eclipse, it was like, I did know that. So there's something here about a lot of happiness emerging for you where you are seeing an outcome that is timed perfectly on your path simply because the next four to five weeks are really encouraging you to invest in what it is that brings you pleasure, what it is that you enjoy, who it is that you enjoy, the connections, and there's something being nurtured, okay? An overall conversation, though, is teaching you a massive lesson. Somebody or something is getting you out of your head about you want something to go in your favor, and and I and it's like there's a lot of things outside of the circumstance, like out of your control in this circumstance. And this next four to five weeks is letting you let go of that control. Um, on some tower cards, this tower card doesn't even want to be on the camera. There's like a person holding the tower that's much bigger than the tower, or they've made the the what they've built much much more important than it really is because the final draft is always better than the rough draft. And I see you here, you're not holding on or forcing the outcome in some situation. And because of that, uh, yeah, the King of Pentacles, it's like you're stepping out of a comfort zone. You're no longer forcing a situation to work out. And the reason is, is that every time that you focus on whatever's changing or exiting or shifting, it's like things in your life kind of collapse. Um, or fall apart, or like you have a hiccup or something. Um, I don't know how to explain that. It's it's like you'll know over the next four to five weeks when you're almost like forcing your way in a situation that it gets you off your vortex or what uh, Abraham Hicks will talk about. Um, like if something bothers you for more than 17 seconds, it is your ego. It is your need to control the outcome in some capacity. So there's something here about you really releasing um, your ego because your inner knowing, your higher self, your guide is coming in. Some of you may have with this masculine king of pentacles here and the tower in reverse, and he did come out in the reverse, but I don't actually really like to use the mystical moments um, in any other way but in the positive. And so it's something that you could even be going through a really big father healing and not even know it. And when you come out this four to five weeks, you're like, oh my gosh, why did I prescribe to that? <laughs> some of you might go back to school or change your major. Um, there's something here that doesn't have quite the fruit that you had wished it to bear. And um, that's going to be different for everybody, okay? But overall, I'm seeing you here being able to master some some piece of your puzzle uh, free and void of everyone else even though conversations are assisting you in really allowing yourself to embrace the next step on your journey and put down the defenses and acknowledge when your ego is at play sometimes it's just when a a thought that we can't get out of our head pops into our head it's as simple as saying cancer like speaking out loud or saying in your mind three times I acknowledge this fear and my ego has no place here. 
And so there's something that simple for you. You might drop that in the comments below um, to really release some some inner conflict because really the, the Nine of Swords is your only real negative or um, energy that I would be a little bit forewarned about. So this is something that bothers you at night. It stresses you out in the when the sun is down. Um, this four to five weeks, you're going to have a lot of fun, a lot of pleasure, experience a lot of uh, connections with people that may be existing and may have uh, you separated ties from in the past. But overall, I just see this energy of really embracing some big change because you know it's time. Your head, your heart is on board, even your soul there with the page of wands and the lovers paired. And by the new moon, I feel like you're going to be on the path that you desire wholeheartedly and in, in this nine of swords will really be shed. Um, I also feel like telling, yeah, ready, set, go. Now is the perfect moment to dive in and embrace your heart's desire. So I think I'm going to leave it there and um, not keep cycling on this. Uh, you definitely need to set your, your heights, your, you know, your sights a little bit higher over the course of the next four to five weeks. And you're going to be having the conversations that really allow you to do that. So with that said, make sure that you're checking out all of your big four. I'll get it to you next time.